scheduling a video right now to be streamed to all your social platforms on a later date while you are eating pretzels. In this video I'm gonna show you how to schedule a stream to be streamed on a later date on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, LinkedIn, whatever you want. I'm gonna go through the whole process together with you. Right now I'm gonna make a new account and it's really important not to skip a lot during this video because there's a process that you need to take your video file to, then you need to schedule it and if you miss anything in between then the quality of your stream might be really bad or it might completely fail. I'm really serious right here, this is not to get watch time, it's just a process you need to go through so please follow it if you don't know how to do it yourself. Let's make a Restream account and let's start. So this is the main page of Restream, but before you make an account right here, just like in my previous video about Restream, there is a link in the description also in this video. And if you sign up through that link, then you will get $10 in free credit. This is very useful in case you decide to upgrade on a later date, because then you need to pay less for your first month. I just finished making my account and then they give you this page. You can choose one of these platforms or you can click on add channel and then you will see all the possibilities. Now a bunch of the features of Restream are available for free, like really the majority of it. There are a few ones that aren't free, I will go over it during this video. And one of the features is streaming to Facebook groups. You can go live to your Facebook profile and to Twitch, to YouTube, LinkedIn, all that stuff completely for free. So that's a big plus of Restream. And if you decide to sign up, sometimes they give you promotion right here for a seven day free trial or some discount. But I asked them for a link for my viewers and here is the link. Just like in my previous video, you will find it under this one. And if you click on that, you will get to a page where you get a discount and you can also see seven day free trial. So you can cancel before seven days and then they don't charge you in case you wanna test some things of the premium features. I will log in with Twitch right now to test the scheduling thing and show it to you. You can use whatever you want and afterwards you can also log in with extra accounts to stream to multiple platforms. But I'm gonna use Twitch right now, so let's connect right here. By the way, legal notice, this video is sponsored by Restream, but let's go over the scheduling of a stream right now. So we have our Twitch connected right here, and if you wanna connect extra platforms to multi-stream at the same time, you can click on add channel and then just add any extra channels. Then on the top you see queue and videos. Let's go to videos and there's a preview video of them right here, and the free version allows you to upload two videos. By the way, you can also delete this one, so let's do that right now. Now we have space for two scheduled videos. And now here's the important thing. Instead of clicking on upload video and then just uploading whatever you wanna stream, we need to convert the file first to make it a smaller file size and make it easy to use by Restream. So that's what we're gonna do right now. This is an article by Restream that gives you a link to the program you need to use and also a bunch of instructions, but I'm gonna go through it with you. But of course we need to download the program first. So let's click on Handbrake and then right here, download Handbrake. So let's go through the installation process. It's pretty simple. Just click next, click on finish. And then once it's finished, we can open Handbrake right here. And right now you can import the file that you wanna live stream on a later date. So let's click on file, open a single video file, and then just browse for your file. I will choose one of my latest videos about building my new streaming setup and I will just open this one. By the way, if you wanna see me live on stream, I was talking on stream about Restream before creating this video. People were asking questions about it. I talk about a lot of streaming stuff. I also play games with friends and then stream it or with the community together. The link to my Twitch will be in the description, twitch.tv slash davidinerdyt. I stream every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, so I would love it if you would come by. So then on this screen, the first thing you can change is the preset and I really advise you to go to general and then choose fast and then 720p if you're streaming only to Facebook. 567 if you're streaming only to Twitter or if you're streaming to anything else you should start from fast 1080p and right now we can change things going from there. So the first thing we want to change is enabling web optimized then go to dimensions and then change your resolution right here. Do some research on the platform you're streaming to, whatever they prefer or whatever you wanna stream in. You select the resolution right here and then you can go to the video tab, select your preferred frame rate right here, which will probably be 30 FPS and then make sure you enable constant frame rate. This is very important. Then you wanna change this encoder level to auto 
and then enable average bitrate and select 4000 kilobits per second. Then the next setting, the encoder preset. According to Restream, this is the most important setting for your encoding. And it's actually pretty important indeed, because right here you are choosing how long your PC will work on compressing this video file. The slower you select right here, the longer it will take for your PC to do the compression, but the higher quality it will be because it can work longer to make your file smaller while keeping a good quality. So if you have time, use something like slower or very slow, unless your PC crashes if you use very slow, but it probably won't. So I will select very slow right here to get a really good quality on our export. And then two more options before we can export. Right here in the advanced options field, you should write key int, which stands for keyframe interval, and then equals. And then you should look at your frame rate and multiply it by two. So for me, that will be key int equals 60. Then lastly, you should select where you should export it. So click on browse. I will just choose downloads and then just test export restream. Okay, perfect. Let's click on save. If you want to save these settings for future projects, you can click on presets at the top, then click on add, then you should give it a name, then click on the dimensions drop down right here, select custom and select the dimensions you always want to use. For example, for us, it's 1920 by 1080. And then you just click on add and then your preset will be made right here. Custom presets, preset one then you can use that every time. Okay, so we can start encoding, transferring this file to something Restream can use. So let's click on start encode. This will take a while. My PC is pretty fast, but apparently it will take seven to eight minutes. It's a 12 minute video and I used a very slow preset, so it's pretty heavy. So I will just wait a bit and come back to you when it's finished with the encoding. Also two important notes. The first one is that you should research a platform that you're scheduling a stream on because many platforms require you to add some kind of message to your title or on the screen screen or in the description to make people aware of the fact that it's a scheduled stream and not an actual live stream. It is a live stream, but they need to know that you're not actually sitting in front of your camera at that time. The second important thing is that Twitch does not allow you to restream to other platforms while streaming on Twitch from the moment that you're an affiliate or a partner. So when you have less than 50 followers and you're not an affiliate yet, or you have more than 50 followers or you haven't requested the affiliate status then it doesn't matter you can stream to twitch and to whatever platform you want at the same time but from the moment you are affiliate or partner then you cannot stream the content that you stream on twitch or the content that you schedule on twitch you cannot restream that to any other platform within the next 24 hours so also if you finish your twitch stream and you download the stream you cannot distribute that on other platforms within 24 hours after starting that stream so restreaming to a bunch of platforms like youtube facebook twitch and stuff like that is completely fine but if you're including twitch to the platforms that you're restreaming to then you need to make sure that it's on an account that is not affiliated yet so the file is exported right now so we can go back to restream then we go to the videos tab and then we can click on upload video so then right here text export restream this is my exported file so let's open that and then let's let it upload to restream so now we can go to the first tab again which is a q tab and then we can click on schedule recorded video. Now we can give this a title. So let's call it Twitch scheduled stream. Okay, and then right here you can select the video you want to schedule for a later date. And then right here you can schedule when it should go live. I will take today in 10 or 20 minutes because then I can show you what happens when it actually goes live automatically. So right now it's 8.22, so let's select 8, something like 37. I think that will work. Then right here you can click on advanced. And if you have linked other channels on the main page, then you can enable or disable them right here to schedule the stream on all those platforms. Then you can select if you want to repeat this, you can make the same video repeat over and over again. But for that, you will need Restream Premium. Just a reminder, if you want to test Premium, there's a link under this video to test it for seven days. If you cancel it before those seven days, then you don't get charged. So you can test the premium features with that. You do not need to change this server and you can just click on schedule recorded video. So the stream has been scheduled right now. I already prepared this channel. So in 10 minutes, the stream will go live right here on Twitch and I will show you how it will look. So let's skip ahead 10 minutes. So right now it's almost 37 minutes after eight. And as you see right here, starting soon in five, four, three, two, one. And right now it should go live on Twitch. I think I will have to refresh. 
Okay, let's refresh on Twitch to see. Okay, so there seems to be a bigger delay than I thought. I've been testing something, so the video has been playing for one minute right now. But let's look at the screens. And as you see on the left, the video on the servers is at 2 minutes 45. And right here on Twitch, I've been live for one minute. At that time, it was 45. So I think there is a one minute delay or something like that. But yeah, that doesn't really matter. I mean, it's scheduled anyway. If you have any questions about this, you can ask them below the video or you can come to my stream twitch.tv slash the video nerd YT. My Twitch link is also in the description. I also talk about other stream stuff. I talk about everything. I would really appreciate it if you would follow me on Twitch. So this was the whole setup from making a restream account to actually scheduling your stream. And as you've seen, it's live right now. And I'm recording this video, so this is actually an amazing feature in specific scenarios. So I hope that this video was helpful for you. If it was, please like this video. This helps a lot for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more streaming content. Check me out on stream if you're interested in that. Don't forget that there's a promo link below this video to test Restream for 7 days. And besides that, thanks a lot for watching and I hope that I will see you in one of my next videos. Have a nice day.